because we have a legend here and Hideo Kojima who's given us so many dope experiences when it comes to Metal Gear, you know, from the Nintendo days to the PlayStation days and wherever you play it now uh, to Metal Gear 5 being the maybe swan song, if you want to say that, maybe. Uh, OK, but outside of that, you know, he is a legend. And the fact that we're getting another action game, Espionage, that's going to be a slash movie experience. OK. It's going to be incredible. So when you saw, so how do you, how do we pronounce this, Daniela? Let's start there. Okay. Somebody needs to tell me how to pronounce this. First of all, naturally, I have a lisp that I have to like work through. Having braces, I have like another additional layer of a lisp added to that. So saying this, fizzent, fizzent, by fizz, I don't know. So, and you know what? <laughs> and it's funny because like, like we're, we're before we started recording, I was telling him, like, I only found out this, um, like, the name of this third installment that you'll be working on, you know, through X. And I was going through this entire video section where he's going off of this. I'm like, does he say this word? Like, I need to hear him, anybody, either him or the other host, talk about this, say it, just say it one time so I know how to say it. And I didn't miss it. I totally missed it on the whole panning out that it was on top of, you know, yep. the, the building sign there. But yeah, somebody please, please tell me because I swear if somebody makes fun of me. Like I said, I said Kinwall wrong one time, one time, the very first time I ever said it. And is it, it I am still being made fun of it 13 years later. So greatly appreciate if somebody tells me how to say this fizzent, fizzent. Yeah, I, I'm saying fizzent. I'm saying fizzent. I think it's a combination of physical and I think you said intelligence and then yeah, I did, I think. right you said intelligence right so i think it's a combination of those two things but we'll see you see we could be wrong on that but i think that it, it what's interesting about this announcement is not having any idea of what's going to happen yes we understand you know the columbia pictures thing which is you know absolutely incredible by way of partnership and of course playstation and the backing that it gives with uh, to hideo kojima not knowing anything else, we're like so excited because we know that he's going to deliver on an experience that we've never seen before, especially if one of the things that was mentioned also was the new technologies that we're going to be able to offer, you know, Hideo in this partnership. You know, the words were like very, very right. intentional. So, yeah. So what did you think about all that? All right. First, I have to get this off my chest here. Like I said earlier, I am a huge Hideo Kojima fan. I'm going to be super serious here. My personality type, I I don't like surprises. Like, I mean, I do, but then when I'm teased with something, it drives me crazy because I need to know. I need to understand. And I am going to be picking my brain. And whoever is trying to, like, tease me with something, I can't do that with Hideo Kojima. So, sir, you are, like... I, how do I put this? You are like the master teases. And it's going to drive me crazy because with Death Stranding, you put out this trailer, the first one, and nobody knew, and we were all picking our brains for it. And then at Game Awards, you announce OD, and I have, I still don't know what to make of that trailer. And then you announce no trailer, just a description. And I'm like, oh my lord. What is it that you're making? Because it sounds so good. First, you have like OD. Again, I was hoping that maybe he'll bring up something about that for this state of play, especially when you saw him and especially after they continue talking after Death Stranding 2. I was thinking that, okay, maybe he's going to give a little bit of it more of a trailer, a little bit more hints about what OD was because I'm still lost and confused and very curious and I would love to know more because you have all of these directors, actors, this huge cast working on OD and then you go and announce something completely unexpected for a title i can't say saying that you're going to be bringing you know very intentional again how you were saying you know we're going to be giving you whatever technologies that you want whatever we come up with we're going to make it available to you we're going to work side by side with you and it's going to be a game but an interactive movie which makes me think of you know until dawn but as fantastic and as much as i love games like that when you add Kojima into that mix, you know it's not going to be on that level. He's going to elevate it to like a 10 
100%. And it's going to be like this whole other experience. And that's what I think is so brilliant about his mind is he has a way of taking genres or video games or any type of medium and elevating it to this whole new other level that people are going to be like, why didn't we think about this? Our next game has to have these elements to it. Yeah, and like, that's you what know, like, he does. Like this yes. thing was just like this, and that's how he is. <laughs> He's a secret with all of his things, and he hides it. But he like gives you like these little tidbits, or like, what is this experience going to be? Because I know that if you say that it's going to transcend film and games. I know he's going to do that. It's not going to sh fall short. I think like there's a lot of games that announce and they promise these big things. And then when you get it, it doesn't meet those expectations. Um, but I believe when Hideo Kojima says that, it's true and it's fact. So he has, you know, he we, we mentioned and if you follow him on an X and anywhere else, he loves music. He loves movies. He loves books. He's always talking about those things. He's always sharing what he loves and where he gets his ideas from or what inspired him. And he brings those elements into these projects that he's making so that you can experience it with him. And I'm just like, what can this be? Because you have my interest on like a level 12 here. And I don't know if I can wait for it. I mean, I'm going to have to. You're going to have to. Yeah. I'm going to have to. And I, I think it, it's going to be something pretty big because, you know, he mentions that he, um, he's been in this game and he's going back to his roots of this action espionage um, over 30 years now. And in two years, he makes his 40th anniversary for, you know, his entire career, which gives me a good idea. Like, all right, so we can expect maybe a trailer, maybe a whole lot more idea of what this Fisons is going to be in in that two year mark for him or 40 year mark for him. Um, because I believe he said that they're not going to fully start working on it in full swing until after Death Stranding. But then he also has OD going on as well, too. So I know it's going to be a, a quite a bit of a wait, but the thing is he has two projects coming out that is going to fill those slots until, you know, this magic of transcending film and games comes to us. So yeah, I'm, I'm done fanboy. 